What's going on YouTube? It's Master Aquatics bringing you guys another video. I don't think I've ever done a video about this. I wanted to show you guys my 75 gallon planted tank in full detail. I wanted to go over everything that's in my 75 gallon tank. So I'm just going to go ahead and just jump right into it. So in the clip that you see in front of you, this is my baby albino pleco. I'm not sure how old the pleco is. Um, when I got the pleco, he was pretty small, and uh, he seems to be growing really fast. I know I say he. I mean, I don't know if it's a male or female, but he certainly eats like a dude. I mean, he just he eats nonstop. He's always on those Anubius leaves eating at the black algae. You know, I finally found a solution to get rid of the black algae on my Anubius leaves. He's doing a really good job. Although the Pleco is doing a really good job eating away all of the algae in my aquarium, as the Pleco gets bigger, he's going to stop eating algae and he's going to start eating away at my plants. And I can't have that in my aquarium. I love my plants and I'd really hate to see them get eaten or damaged by the Pleco. So when the Pleco gets bigger, I'm going to move him down to the 29 gallon. And eventually, I'm going to try to sell him off on eBay. But for right now, I'm going to enjoy having the little guy in my aquarium. He makes a great additions to the angels. This is my red koi angelfish from Angels Plus. I haven't had this angelfish for more than a month now. And he is a survivor. He has survived the outbreak that happened just recently with my aquarium. And I got to say, he's one of the best looking angelfish um, in the aquarium. Matter of fact, he's one of the best looking angelfish that I've ever owned. As you can see for yourself, uh, the black markings on this koi is placed in all the right areas. Um, in my opinion, the black markings around its eye and mouth and along its fins really make this koi angelfish um, a really good looking fish uh, to have in your aquarium and I'm just happy that I didn't lose this koi angelfish in the process with all the other ones I mean the other ones look good too but I'm just happy that you know I still have a good looking healthy angelfish in my aquarium and there's no doubt in my mind that as the as this koi angelfish gets older it's definitely gonna intensify with its red coloring Definitely excited to see this one grow and get bigger and hopefully it'll pair off with the other angelfish in this tank. This is a regular silver angelfish that I got from Petco. Um, it's a nice sized silver angelfish and I'm hoping it pairs off with one of the koi's. Um, and this is my silver platinum. I have about three of them in here and um, I remember one time somebody told me that there's no such thing as silver platinum, but I definitely see a difference in this angelfish than uh, the silver angelfish that I just showed you guys in the previous clip. And this is my biggest silver platinum. Um, it is the biggest, but I gotta say it's not the best looking. I still think it's a decent looking angelfish. And this is uh, another one of my silver platinums that I raised um, as babies. And that's a bunch of my angels grouped together. This is my second koi angelfish. Um, remember guys, I had five. I now only have two. This is the second one in my 75 gallon tank. This koi angelfish, it is mainly light orange. It's like a sun-kissed orange. There's not too much black on this koi angelfish and the gills and cheeks on this one looks a lot similar to a sunset blushing angelfish. If you don't know what that is, it's a color strain of an angelfish where their gills are pinkish and rosy and uh, that's why they call them sunset blushing because they look like they're blushing. And for a while, I thought maybe this angelfish could have been a mixture of koi and sunset blushing but I don't know for sure but either way I really like the way this angelfish looks and I'm happy to have it in my tank. 
and this is my cobalt blue I used to have three cobalt blues they all passed away from the outbreak including this one this was the last one that I had in my aquarium that was able to survive longer than the other two he put up a good fight but unfortunately he passed away and this right here is me showing you guys what kind of plants I have in my aquarium um, I'm sure if you saw the last video you know exactly what kind of plants I have in here but just to recap I have mainly a bunch of crypts in here I have two bunches of Anubias I have some Hygrophilia and I also have some Jungle Val and this right here is a side view of my 75 gallon tank it's from the left side just wanted to show you guys what that looked like and this is the right side um, again just wanting to show you guys what my tank looks like from this angle the aquarium looks pretty cool from this angle you can see all the plants and see the bushiness of the crypt so that's pretty much it for this video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did enjoy this video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My name is Master Aquatics, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Do I still need a tripod? Yes, you still need a fucking tri tripod. Alright. You look like a fucking amateur with this shit. Well, thanks, man.